Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from screencastworld.com. In this tutorial I'll discuss the changes Google recently made to the Google Merchant Center, also known to many as Google Base or Google Products. In an effort to ensure your Google Merchant Center account is the only authorized account to submit product listings for your e-commerce store, Google now requires the store owner to verify and claim the store URL. So why the change? Well there are several reasons, the main ones being improved security for store owners, only allowing authorized accounts to add, modify and remove product listings, and it brings Google Merchant in line with other Google applications. Although the process of claiming and verifying is new to Google Merchant, it's not new across many of the other Google apps and Google offerings. The change means that you have tighter control over what does and does not get published in Google Base. So the changes to Google Merchant come into effect on May the 18th, 2010. Any existing or newly uploaded product listings made after the 18th of May will be automatically disapproved until the store owner has verified and claimed their store. So there's a three-step process which store owners need to go through in order to verify and claim their store. Step one is to confirm which URL to claim and verify. And this is fairly easy as it's going to be your store's URL. Step two is where you need to verify the store URL within Google Webmaster account. And step three is where you claim your store within the Google Merchant account. So step one of the process is really confirming and choosing which URL you want to verify. So for single stores running on a single domain, the best URL to verify is the top level URL of your domain. For example, example.com or www.example.com, example.com slash store or store.example.com. So for multiple stores, the best URL to verify is the second level domain URL of all your stores. So if you had multiple stores running off the same domain, for example, store1.example.com or store2.example.com, or whether you have your store running in a subpath, so example.com slash store1 or store2, then you'll need to use the second level domain, example.com. Any subdomains or paths will be automatically claimed as well. So next I'm going to show you how to actually verify the website in your Google Webmasters account. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to sign into the Google Webmasters site using your Google account username and password. The URL for Google Webmasters is www.google.com slash webmasters. Once you've logged in, you'll be presented with the dashboard similar to this one. And here you can see that I've already verified one website. If this is the correct URL for your e-commerce site, then you've already completed this step and can move on to step number three to claim your site within Google Merchant. If, however, your website is listed but shows as unverified, then you'll need to click the link and follow the instructions to verify your site. I'll show you how to verify a website by creating a new site within Google Webmasters and verifying it. So I'm going to go over to add a site and I'm going to type in the URL of my e-commerce site which for this occasion is going to be demo.screencastworld.com and click on continue. Now here we can see the website URL, the status is not verified and we have a choice here of verification methods. The first method or the default method is the meta tag so Google wants you to add this code to your website. The second method is the upload a HTML file. So this is a method that allows you to download a very small file from Google, upload it to your web route, and we can verify the website using this method. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use the HTML method. So I'm going to go ahead and download the file. And the next uh, step of the process is to upload this file to the web route for demo.screencastworld.com so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So this is my file manager I'm already in the web route for my demo site I'm just going to go ahead and upload a file. Okay and we can see the file now in the web route so back over to Google Webmasters and I can now hit the verify button down below. As long as you don't get any errors that means that the verification process has been completed 
and we can go back to the dashboard and we can see here that both my main website and now my new website, the demo.screencastleworld.com, is now verified. And once the website is verified, that's all you need to do in Google Webmasters. So we can move on to step three, which is claiming your website within Google Merchant. So next I'm going to show you how to claim your website in the Google Merchant Center. Okay, so now that we've verified our website within Google Webmasters, we now need to claim the website within the Google Merchant Center. Whilst more than one person can verify or be associated with the same URL within Google Webmasters, Google Merchant requires that only one account holds the right to upload and publish product listings for our websites. For this reason, you will need to claim your website URL in Google Merchant after you are verified in Google Webmasters. You'll also need to ensure that you log into Google Merchant using the username and password which will be allowed to publish and modify product listings. So once you've signed into Google Merchant you'll be presented with a dashboard as you see here and we can see the message from Google saying from the 18th of May 2010 you will not be able to submit any product listings unless you have previously claimed your website URL. So as we've already verified our website what we need to do next is head on over to the settings menu on the left here and click on general and here we can see the website URL text box and in here is where we need to enter the URL of our e-commerce website that we've just verified. So you can see here it's already pre-populated with my main website which is screencastworld.com and it confirms here that it's, it's a verified website and I would just need to click on this link here to claim this URL. If you want to choose a different URL, I could type in here demo.screencastworld.com Come down to Save Changes Now the website URL is demo.screencastworld.com And again it shows that it's a verified website and I have the option to claim this URL If you enter an incorrect or an unverified website URL, so let's enter demo1.screencastworld.com then Google knows that it's unverified and is also unclaimed. So you would need to go ahead and verify this website within Google Webmasters before you can claim it within Google Merchant. I'm just going to go ahead and correct this. And all you need to do now is click the Claim This URL link. And that's it. We've now verified and claimed our website. And you must remember to save the changes. So scroll down to the bottom and hit Save Changes. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Remember to fill out as many details of this form as possible to make sure all the details are correct and your customers have as much information as possible about your website. And now that we've verified the website, it's just a case of uploading product listings either directly through Google Merchant or through your e-commerce website. So that brings us to the end of this video tutorial. If you found the screencast useful, please take a moment to rate it or leave me a comment. If you'd like to see other screencasts, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or go to screencastworld.com where you'll find lots of other screencasts, hints and tips to make your Magento Commerce site a success. It just leads me to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in another video tutorial from screencastworld.com.